No smoke screen. Here's the warts and all truth as to why George Groves split from longtime trainer Adam Booth. Adam informed me that we're no longer working together, which I accepted. Um, relations aren't always the way they seem on the outside. Um, it was probably a long time coming. He, he made his feelings aware, and uh, you know that's boxing. You know, you got to, you got to get on with it. I can't say that you know I'm yeah. I'm grieving. Total opposite. Are you on speaking terms? Uh, no. Is it an irreparable relationship now? Is that done? Yeah, it is. Yeah. His former training partner Froch has said he'll take great pleasure in beating him. All mouth, says Groves. He's got a superiority complex, which in boxing is good when you're at the very top. But it's not so good when there's a young up and coming fighter who's going to beat you real soon. So um, at some point, the realization will hit him that um, I am a, not just a serious threat. You know, I'm going to want to bash him up, take his titles, and probably end up retiring him. All the lights and cameras were in aid of the promo for next month's fight. Groves admits he's a reluctant star of the screen. You try and get your personality across whenever you can, uh, especially in boxing, but all people want to do is look moody, look, look mean, look angry. I can do that, but I don't have to do it all the time. In Groves, there's a steely determination, a belief that the alarm bells should be ringing for Froch and a burning desire to become a world champion. Jamie Weir, Sky Sports.